Labor has prevailed in the crucial Fisher by-election by just 23 votes, giving it a parliamentary majority to govern in its own right. But the result could still be challenged, with two other candidates nursing the wounds of a tight tussle. After a week of uncertainty, Labor prevails. All we can promise is that we'll be honest, uh, hard-working and committed to the electorate. But it came down to the wire. As Nine News called it last night, the Liberals were already out of the contest. Preferences destined to favour whoever finished second in the primary vote. But Labor faced a concerted battle to hold off independent Daniel Woodyard. And it's 226. 226. It's sad to get so close. Uh, Fisher was fighting for its independence. Labor's state secretary finally making a long delayed call to his candidate. So well done, congratulations. You can be happy now, yes. In a two-party split, Labor beat Liberal Heidi Harris by just 23. We always expected a, a close finish, but uh, it's, this is probably one of the closest finishes that there's been in quite a long time. And for Reggie Martin, one of the sweetest. About 12.30 last Saturday night, uh, I finally went to bed and at quarter past one, my wife went into labour and we had a child uh, nine o'clock on Sunday morning after the election day. So it's been a very big week. With a big week to come, a recount request likely. I would imagine that would certainly be a position that uh, the party, our party would consider. After campaign controversy, the result could also be challenged in court. We'll be considering that tonight and we'll probably know by tomorrow. It's particularly bitter in the end if you lose it by a smaller margin uh, uh, as that. Uh, but ultimately, whether you lose by one vote or a thousand votes, you lose. Um, winners are grinners and losers can please themselves. The winner grinning today, hoping to play a big part in what's now a majority Labor government. If I said I wasn't aiming to um, play a really important role in government, uh, I'd be lying. I, you know, I will take any opportunity that's given to me, but uh, give me five minutes to walk through the front steps and uh, see how I go. And Tom Richardson joins us now in the studio. Tom, how significant is this victory? Kate, it's very significant. A parliamentary majority means Labor can now pass legislation without relying on independence. But those two independents currently in Cabinet are likely to stay there, which makes life even more difficult for the Liberals. They only fell short by 23 votes, but this is a really devastating loss for them. Still, they won't have time to lick their wounds with another by-election contest in neighbouring Davenport next month. It's a safe Liberal seat but after what's happened in Fisher, they won't be taking anything for granted. Indeed. Thank you, Tom.